when um, Guru Maharaj said that, <laughs> uh, you know, there was the science of rasa, and Rupa Goswami perfectly delineates that in Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. <clears throat> but anything and all things are possible in the Absolute and the Absolute's devotees who control the Absolute, if that's possible. And apparently it is. Sri Krishna Karshini Chasa, the Absolute, independent, supreme reality, the original source of everything, for whom not a blade of grass moves without his will, the supreme omniscient, omnipotent Lord, personality of Godhead, Swayam Bhagavan, can be controlled through love and devotion. So, sometimes the science of rasa is contradicted. So we're told that previously in Ramayan, and Ram Lila, when Ram and Lakshman were in a predicament, and Hanuman was sort of at his wit's end, and his ability to protect them, help them, Garuda was enlisted. And Garuda performed in flying colors, and at the end, when it came time for some remuneration, das kori beton mori dehu premadan, the voice went there, premik. Guru does one request, said, my lord, to Ramachandra, if you can show your form of Krishna. <laughs> Remember, Krishna is Akhila Brasamrita Murti. He's also, Ram is also his avatar. It's Krishna playing in a particular way. The inverse can be shown to a certain degree. He said, but Garuda, Hanuman will become disturbed. <laughs> so we should be careful not to disturb the sentiments of other devotees. <laughs> no matter how much we think we're acquainted with reality, so Garuda said, I will, uh, you know, with my wings. And actually that's how he had saved them, with, with his mighty wings, making the ocean uh, submit. So he said, with those same wings that I saved you, I can save you in this situation too. Hanuman won't be disturbed. I'll make a theater. You can show, he won't see. All right, Garuda expands his wings. Ram shows his form of Krishna. Garuda is very happy. Maybe through the wings a little bit, Hanuman seeing something. <laughs> and it finishes, and Hanuman saying, Garud, someday I'll exact my revenge. <laughs> So we're told that once in Dwaraka, all the pastimes of the personality of Godhead are multidimensional. Krishna expresses that he would like um, to get 108 blue lotus flowers. And Garuda is there. Yes, my Lord, consider it done. But they, these blue lotuses only grow in a particular place, high, high in the mountains, divine mountains. So Garuda's flying there to get those. And when he comes upon the pathway, there's this old, old monkey lying on the road. And we know it's part of Vedic culture, never to cross over a living being because of jivatma, paramatma. So we don't even step over a dog or an animal of any kind out of respect. Jivatma, paramatma. So Garuda's coming and saying, you monkey, move. He's like, oh, I'm so tired and old, I can't move. But I am Garuda the messenger of Vishnu, 
and I'm on a special mission from Krishna to get 108 blue lotus flowers. So monkey, you leave this road and let me cross. Oh, go around me. I am too much tired and too old. Monkey, if you do not move, then I will blow you away with my wings. Remember, he made the ocean move. He can do such things. As you wish, Prabhu. And he would And those same wings that could scare the ocean and the submission, we're told, not a hair moved on Hanuman's body. Wouldn't move one hair. And rather, he reached up, grabbed Garuda, and stuffed him under his armpit. So he's going, 108 blue lotus flowers. (laughs) Then Hanuman goes to the mountain, collects the 108 blue lotus flowers, then returns to Dwaraka, where he's met by Sudarshan. Monkey! Don't see the sign. No monkeys allowed. This is not your place. I have 108 blue lotus flowers for Lord Krishna. And, <laughs> and Sudarshan, monkey, I'm telling you, no monkeys allowed here. And he starts spinning. He's about to finish. And Hanuman raises his hand, and Sudarshan becomes a ring on his finger. And he proceeds. 108 blue lotus flowers. Garuda. Mm. Sudarshan. And Krishna, knowing everything, he's there with Rukmini and Satyabhama. He says, Satyabhama, you become uh, Radharani. Or excuse me, you become Sita and I'll be Ram. This will make Hanuman happy. And Satyabhama, no. Rukmini, all right, she agrees. So Satyabhama hides under the bed, Rukmini becomes Sita, Krishna becomes Ram, Hanuman comes in. Ram, Ram, Sita Ram, Jai Sita Ram. I knew all along my Lord Ram. Really, it's Krishna. He presents the 108 <coughs> blue lotus flowers. <laughs> and the Lord says, to him, Hanuman, is there anything I can do for you any desire you have. He said, no, by your grace, everything is well. But I'm just wondering, who is that hiding under the bed? <laughs> so Guru said, in this instance, Hanuman, we take his in Dasya Rasa. He demonstrates his superiority. He checks Garuda, <coughs> Sudarshan, and even the pride of the queen, Satyabhama. 